What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So in the videos yesterday when I was talking about One UI 2.0 and all that, there were some really cool features that I didn't hit on. I really only talked about the major ones, but there's a lot of cool little hidden features and little changes that Samsung put in One UI 2.0 that you might have not even realized that I definitely didn't know until I read about it. Now this is a compiled list. These aren't even all the features, but these are a lot of them. So one thing that's really, really cool is that actually with the lock screen, similar to iOS and some other versions of Android, if you have a wallpaper, right, and it's completely white or it's completely dark, the text it will now actually be adaptive up here. So as you can see, we have a lighter kind of, I would say not dark wallpaper, but somewhat darker up there. You can see that the text is actually white. But if we were to change this wallpaper to like a dark wallpaper or something, or like a white wallpaper, this text will automatically change to a white or black text, which is really nice. And we've had this in iOS for a minute, but now it's really cool that we have that on Android with the One UI 2.0, which is really, really cool. Another cool little feature is actually with the quick toggles up here. So we actually have an extra set of row of toggles on One UI 2.0 that we didn't have on One UI 1. Now there were still toggles that you can enable and go change up. You can change to this specific page right here. But we now have an extra set of rows, which is really, really cool. So if you want to add an extra set of rows, you don't have to add it because it's already enabled. And that's something we didn't have on One UI, the original version, which is awesome. There's also a cool little feature that you can now actually change the size of the call card, which I am not able to find. I was so I did see this. <laughs> I was able to see this at first, but now I'm not able to find it. But if I do find it, I'll leave it down linked in the description. But basically, you can change the size of the call card that's coming in. So if you you know you're receiving a call, that little pop-up will come up there. You can now change that size so you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever it is. So now it didn't always take up the full screen anyway, but now you can change it to a lot of different settings in different ways, which is really, really cool. Another small little change is actually with the calculator app. That specific app also got a little bit of a refresh. Some little things were changed here and there, which is really cool. Now, another cool thing is actually within the notification pan, and you might be able to see, but as you can see, notifications are separated from silent notifications and regular notifications. So as you can see, that wasn't necessarily there on One UI 1.0, but now with silent notifications, you can now see the notifications that didn't necessarily go off or trigger your phone. And you can now separate those from your actual notifications that will trigger your phone. So that's a really cool little thing that has now been added with One UI 2.0. And another awesome thing that I loved, which I don't know why Samsung didn't put this in their phones earlier because it was so obnoxious. You can now actually change the wallpaper of your phone without having to go to the Galaxy Store every single time. So as you can see, you still have the option of going to the Galaxy Store if you click Explore More Wallpapers or whatever. But as you can see, you can change whatever you want to. You can click here. You can go My Wallpapers. I don't even think I have any. Oh, I do. Okay. You can change the wallpaper to whatever you want to. You can go back to this one, whatever, and it won't take you to the Galaxy Store, which is so obnoxious. It made you enable all these permissions and all these different things. It was like signing up for an account just to change your wallpaper, and it was so obnoxious. <laughs> Luckily, they did change that now with One UI 2.0. Another cool thing is within messages. Let's say you go and send a message to somebody. Now, I don't have anything, but if you go and actually click the camera icon, as you can see, I need to add somebody. So let's say I just add some random phone number. All right, whatever, this guy. If I click the camera icon, I click take picture. It actually opens the full-on camera app, which before, I don't know if this did. Apparently, this is a new feature. So now you have all those little functionalities that you have with the regular camera app. You can take the photo. It'll automatically go send it to you. You can go and click OK, whatever. You can go and send it to that person, whoever you want to, which is really, really cool. That's a cool little feature. Before, I think it would just do a little pop-up right here. Then you would take the photo similar to iOS. But now it takes you to that full camera app, which is really awesome. Also, the permissions prompts are changed a little bit. So I don't know how I'm going to demonstrate this. But basically, the whenever you would need to click allow or deny or something like that, I can probably simulate this in Chrome. So I don't think I'm going to be able to. But before, whenever you would get a little pop-up, it would literally say like, oh, would you want to enable this or disable whatever? And you would click allow or deny. And it would be like this really ugly pop-up and it looked like it was from like Android Lollipop. That's how old it looked. But now they actually changed it to where it's much better looking. I don't know where I'm going to be able to enable this. This is basically the newer type of layout. So you would basically get this little thing before it would be like a little square box right here, a rectangle, but now it looks a lot better, which is really awesome. Also, a little minor one, the settings page is now changed up a little bit. It's going to be kind of hard to tell, but they kind of cleaned it out. Obviously, I have dark mode enabled, but the setout is pretty much the same, but the actual toggles and tiles, they're a little bit rearranged a little bit. There's obviously the new digital well-being setting, and there's a bunch of little other extra things they put in here and there, which is really awesome. And also, while I'm in the settings, the last kind of thing I wanted to hit on is actually for the battery. So if you click device care and you click battery, you can get a lot more settings for your battery, which is really, really cool. If you click on the battery setting, you can see if you have a lot more capability, a lot more information, but you can click battery usage. And you can see exactly what's taking out the most amount of battery on your phone, which is really cool. 
And you can see I spent a lot of time on Temple Run, which I probably shouldn't, but you can see that you have a lot more information about your specific battery usage and all that. And you can also do app power management. You can have a lot of these cool little things, which might have been there for One UI 1, but as far as I know, this has been updated quite a bit for One UI 2.0. So those are a couple cool little features, hidden ones that I would consider hidden on One UI 2.0. I think it's a really cool update. I've been running the beta since the beta came out for the Galaxy S10, the public beta at least, and I have it on my S10e. I'll get an S10 Plus and review it on there too, but that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll do a second video of these to see which ones, you know, if there's any more features or anything I can let out, but that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to then.